Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another one of my videos uh, here at the Stoic Archer channel. Um, well, I haven't put out a whole lot yet. Uh, most of my videos have been on my other uh, channel prior to starting this one. Um, <clears throat> but I wanted to do something that was going to be strictly archery, archery related items, um, tips, tricks, that kind of thing. So uh, today I am working on a set of... Uh, a half dozen Easton XX75 Game Getter 2s, uh, 2016 spines for uh, for my ILF bow uh, that I am now hunting with. So uh, I was super lucky to find a brand new uh, or new in the box, new old stock uh, set of these shafts. Um, these Game Getter 2s are, if I'm going to shoot aluminum, these are my absolute favorite. I just absolutely love the... Uh, the camo color that they did uh, for this pattern uh, on these with the uh, the brown and black stripes. Uh, getting a little harder to find these. Really hoping that Easton will re-release these um, instead of just the uh, the green camo. Um, so, anyways, uh, working on a new set uh, for this season and <clears throat> thought of something that I wanted to share. Um, so. It's pretty big for myself uh, to not spend uh, money somewhere when I can make something myself uh, for very little effort. Um, a lot of people like myself out there are usually using arrow wraps. Um, I do it uh, like many for added visibility on the shot and uh, downrange. Um, so, for example, this would be a boning or bonding um, uh, wrap here. Now, if you buy these, you know that they're pretty expensive for what they are. Um, somewhere between $10 and $15 for a 12-pack, generally speaking. Um, guys, these are just stickers. That's all they are. Um, and spending $15, bucks, at least for me, on a set of arrow wraps when I can make my own in 5 to 10 minutes worth of my time um, just seems a little bit uh, unnecessary. So uh, I wanted to show you something with these. I've got the sheet over here. Um, and on this sheet, you can see the last half of the name. Um, this material is called Oracle. Uh, specifically, it's Oracle 651 is what this self-adhesive vinyl is. Okay. Um, in fact, it says it on the back of this slip here, if that'll focus. 651. Oracle 651 is a permanent adhesive-backed vinyl. Okay. <clears throat> If, uh, if your wife, girlfriend, mother, uh, heck, even yourself happens to own a cricket machine, uh, you already know that uh, Oracle 651 is one of the most commonly used uh, vinyls out there for those purposes. So you can go and get Oracle 651 at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joanne Fabrics, Amazon, you name it. It is readily available in tons of colors. Um, <clears throat> this material that I have here is Oracle 651 in uh, high-vis yellow or uh, chartreuse. Um, I ordered this roll off of Amazon. Uh, comes in a very, very large roll. Uh, that's a sheet that I had cut off before, but just to give you an idea, this is still a 24 inch long sheet here. Um, this stuff, this roll, I think was uh, 10 bucks, 10, 12 bucks, something like that. That is enough material for me to make dozens and dozens of arrows worth of wraps, okay? So um, I already did one here. This shaft I did last night uh, when I was actually making these, but uh, my voice was a little hoarse last night, so I didn't want to record. I'm still kind of getting over something. Uh, but either way, that's one that I had done. Um, super, super easy, guys. These um, these slips, or these wraps, rather, are one and an eighth inch wide, okay? Now, I like, you'll see that mine are longer. Um, these are four inches. I prefer, because I shoot traditional, and I'm usually running a four or a five inch feather uh, on my arrows, I like to do five and a half inches in length for my wraps. Um, so basically, all I do to make these is, in this case at least, I was using one of these in place to set my width, okay? And then I would come back with a razor knife. Okay. 
run along my straight edge, cut my strip, okay? Um, and you'll notice, you know, here's some that I had previously done. They curl up a little bit uh, depending on the direction that you cut them on your sheet. However, when you take them off of the backer, uh, they lay flat for you to be able to uh, apply them uh, with a mouse pad. Uh, the, if you use wraps, you know, it's pretty much the best way that you can apply these is simply to peel the backing off, lay them down on a mouse pad, and roll your arrow on them. I'll do that real quick. I'll do another one more here since I'm working on these anyways. So, yeah, I mean, guys, I, I, you know, for some people, maybe it's not worth the, uh, the added effort and time. Sorry about that. Um, I had to move something out of the way there. For some people, it may not be worth the added time, and they may place more value in being able to just go and buy something that's ready-made, ready to use. Um, for me, like I said, I just do not see the point in spending five, six, seven times uh, the amount for the same uh, end result. So I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, hope it. If you're an arrow nerd like myself, uh, you're constantly building arrows uh, for your bows, or just always working a different tune, whatever it is. Um, I always like to shoot with wraps, so I go through a decent amount of them. And uh, for myself, at least, this is a. It's a big cost savings. Um, you know, not trying to knock on any of the brands that produce arrow wraps or any of the retailers that sell them. But, uh, again, uh, if you're like, if you're like myself, anything that you can DIY, save yourself a couple extra bucks on when we're already usually building pretty expensive arrows, um, is beneficial. So, uh, thanks for tuning into my video. Uh, actually, before I go, one thing I do want to mention is you can cut this material, uh, to the dimensions you need on one of those Cricut machines if you happen to own one. Um, I do not. Um, <clears throat> what you would do, since I have used one in the past, uh, what you would do is you'd go in there, uh, lay out your sheet size, and then set up your cutting parameters to cut uh, one and an eighth inch wide strips by whatever the length you want is. So you'd basically lay out your cut lines to those dimensions, and uh, man, you could you could cut out, you know, 50 to 100 of them in one go um, in, you know, nine to $11 worth of material. Um, in fact, I think at Walmart, depending on the color you're going for and the size of the roll, you know, you can get a, a decent sized roll uh, for six to eight bucks. So um, again, I hope this helps. Uh, you save a little bit extra money on the arrows that you're building. Um, it just takes a couple extra minutes to go ahead and cut yourself uh, some of these uh, arrow wraps, but uh, the end product is exactly the same. Nice and clean good adhesion. It's literally the exact same material that you're paying for, um, but you don't have to order them and wait for them. You can run down to Walmart and get yourself a roll and get to cutting. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you liked this, please throw a like on the video. Um, give me a comment and uh, subscribe if you like. Okay. Thanks. Have a great day.